unlocked it. I have no idea how. <laughs> when you must be a master lock picker. Did you see that? <laughs> I got cops on the way. Am I gonna get arrested? But I like getting arrested. I like it when they kind of manhandle me and hard call me. I don't mind that at all. Maybe I should hightail it out of here before the law finds me, huh? Hello? Mom, I can see you through the door. Hello? Where are you, sir? Hey, where? Hello? Oh, hello. How are you? So nice to see you, officer. Yeah, sorry. Ah, sorry, my voice broke for a sec there. Um, now, can I help you, young feller? Had someone passed me on the way by? Yes. Saying that they saw someone jimmying with the locks, or at least looking suspicious with the locks. No kidding, house. really? I wonder who that could have been. Because I was just here visiting my friend. <laughs> no, uh... Me and my horse, me and my horse here, me and my horse Corny, we just came over to visit my friend at the Talking Pig Farm here. I didn't see no criminals. Sure, ma'am. You sure you saw nothing on the way around here? No, I wouldn't old lady lie to minutes. you. I, I am just a little old lady from Strawberry. Now, would I lie to you? I don't think you would. You'd nah, of course people. not. I would never lie to not to a not to a police officer. Hey, sir, can I ask you a question while you're here? Sure, Because I am really on the lookout for a bad criminal named the Peppermint Bandit. Have you heard of him? Uh, no, but you did the, I was at the telegram station. Oh, that's, oh, it. that's right. Well, see, now that's why I come out here to see if my friend here at the Talking Pig Farm may have seen him. Because I was on my way up to, um, on my way up there to, uh, Van Horn. Because that sounds like the kind of town that this, this bad dude would go to, you know. So I was on up in there. So I just thought I'd stop by the Talking Pig Farm here and see if my friend was home. And, well, now she's not home, so... I guess I'll just be on my way and mosey on up to Van Horn. But you're doing a really excellent job there, officer. I, I do appreciate you protecting the people yeah. now. Just that, just that. Okay. Sorry. Um, so you said you, you said you know the owner, right? I do know the owner. All right, and I I, I don't know whose house this is, but uh, what's, what's the owner's name of the house? Well, so well, her her name. Now you got to understand that she and I go way back. Now, I've known her since she was knee-high to a grasshopper, and, and I just used to call her Pinky Stinky. And to tell you the truth, I just don't even remember her real name anymore, officer, because I just always call her Pinky Stinky. And so that's why I was here, looking for my friend Pinky Stinky. Okay. Uh, surely you must know her full name, right? Hmm. I, I just I just don't know because like I said our mamas introduced us when we was just just crawling around out there in the in the mud you know with the pigs and 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 that's why I called her pinky stinky because she was pink like the pigs but she also stunk like the pigs you know and so we started calling her pinky stinky and that's and that's all I remember now and I've always called her that even through school now we all gone to the fourth grade you know yeah, sorry. Um, is that a friend of yours coming in here? Nope, that was uh, going the other direction. No, I don't think so. Sorry. Oh, okay. I was just keeping an so, eye on. Um, well, well, I think I, you know, um, um, I do believe now. Now, I might not. I might be wrong. Now, I believe her name could have started with an A. Was that it? A with an A. A something or other? Would that have been her name? Would that? Am I right with that? Is it an uh, A? I wouldn't know because it's oh, not a lot to go off. Oh, okay. Well, I do believe then they called her Ariana. I remember one time when she got married. When she got married to that hooligan, that horrible, horrible man who she married, and we all told her, "Do not marry that man." They was only married but forty-eight hours when when she kicked him out, kicked him right in the head. She did. So you don't know about that, but I do. Stinky Pinky? No, no I, I, yeah. I, I don't know. I really know the owner of this house at all. I don't even know who owns it. Oh, have to okay. It well, I bet you if you looked her up and you said, hey, do you know Grammy? Do you know Grammy? Well, Grammy G Grammy was, was at your house. She's going to say, well, hot ding dang, that's my friend. You can just let her in my house anytime you want. 
So I, I can do that, but unfortunately, because obviously I saw you inside the property and someone said someone with Jimmy in with the locks, or at least looked like it, I, I'm going to have to search you. Just She's going to, you, you going to search me? You going to search this little old lady? Well, uh, I'll unfortunately, be. Unfortunately, I have to. Well, well, listen, young man, you know what? It has been so long since anybody has laid hands on Grammy, anybody good looking like you. So you just go right ahead. You can search right. me to your little heart's content. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead. I'm ready. Safety, my safety, I also have to put these cuffs on you just so that. Ooh, he's, I'm going to get cuffed. Just for Ooh. Safety, just okay. Well, can I come out here into the light here just because I feel better? There you go. Now you come on over here and you put handcuffs on me, young feller. Go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, if you just, if you, can you just turn around for me? Ooh, you want me to turn around? I'm going to get handcuffed. Ooh, Grammy's getting handcuffed. <gasps> Ooh, I got shivers going down my spine right now. Go right ahead, sir. You are being cuffed by Carl Jameson. Oh, Carl. Carl, I'm Carl. I'm just going to lightly pat you down just now. Okay? Oh, he's going to lightly pat me down. Ooh, wee, doggies. All right, go ahead. Go ahead, pat me down, young man. Go ahead. Are you doing it? Are you doing it? A little faster. Faster, dude. That'd be a little bit better. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. That's a, that's a little giggle spot there. You, you hit me on my giggle spot. You better watch it. Will, what you got to say? Was it the good for you as it was for me? I've not seen anything that looks illegal, Look, so... There, see, I, um, I know we're do, doing nothing wrong. Your weapons uh, are in your pockets now, unfortunately. It's just an unfortunate thing that happens, but uh, you uh -oh. don't have anything on you, so you're good to go. It's nothing I can see anyway. Okay, well, well, I just appreciate it because, you know, the door was open when I got here, and I just went inside looking for my pinky stinky. That's why I was in there, because the door was open. So maybe somebody did jimmy it, and they just heard me coming and then run off. I guess that's a possibility. Uh, possibly. Possibly. Right, well, since you didn't have anything on you, um, and you say it's your friend's house, um, I'll, let you, I'll let you go for this one. Well, I just appreciate it, you, you kind young men. Now, I just hope that this was a good experience for you because it was just a thrill for me. You just, because, oh, you know, I'm just an old lady living up in the hills. Well, listen, I'm going to go. I'm going to head on out looking for my peppermint bandit, and I'll, uh, I'll be on the lookout for you, okay, kind sir? And I'll tell all my folks if they're ever going to have to get arrested to make sure they come see you, okay? Yeah, that's no problem. All right, all right. I'll see you later, sweetheart. You, you stay safe, man. I'm All right. Familiar. Take care, lamb chop. You All right. Stand here to borrow a vehicle. All right. We're gonna do. We're gonna do an illegal delivery. <clears throat> Blackwater buyers, strawberry, grizzlies, rose, swamp buyer. Let's do a swamp buyer. That sounds fun. We're going to do the swamp buyer. Your current drug runner reputation is one. So I'm not a very good drug runner yet because I got arrested the last time I tried to do this. So we're just going to go nice and easy now because I'm just a little old lady. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Uh-oh. Looks like we got trouble right here in River City. Looks like looks like we got trouble. <clears throat> right here in River City. Excuse me, excuse me. I gotta go nice and easy. Gonna obey the speed limits. Gonna stop at all the stop signs. I'm gonna be a good girl. <clears throat> la -di da la -di da I'm just a little old lady riding in my Conestoga wagon. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. 
She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be hauling lots of drugs. She'll be hauling lots of drugs. She'll be hauling lots of drugs when she comes. See you later, dear. If you want to get high as a kite, come see Grammy. If you want to get high as a kite, come see Grammy. All right, here we go. Moseying on down. <laughs> oh, I need a police siren. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, what do I have here? Do I have anything? Here you go. This is for you. Here we go. What we got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> what would you do with the brain if you had one? <laughs> this, is for, this is what I think of the law. What would you do with the brain if you had one? <laughs> Grammy the Scofflaw. That's what she is. Grammy the Scofflaw. Uh oh. A nosy local has spotted you and is running to the law. <laughs> I'm going to get arrested again. Oh man, I'm going to get arrested again. <laughs> if you had one, you wouldn't be a sheriff character. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure it's lots of fun. I wouldn't mind arresting people. Maybe Grammy will become a sheriff. You think? Maybe Grammy will become a sheriff. Not just run out and I'll just arrest people. They just call me the, the exterminator is what they'll call me. Grammy the exterminator. That's right. What's the matter, Minnie? It's like Minnie got off her cam. I'm going to turn the mini cam off. It looks like she got off of it anyway. Ah, the heck with it. All right. Here we go. Oh, I better hurry up before the law finds me. Off I go. <laughs> I'm going to make it this time. Uh-oh, roadblock. <laughs> you have to wait. Aw. Well, that's all right. 30 in real life days. All right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Wee, going up over the bridge. Grammy's bringing your little, your, 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 your happy time pills are on their way. They're coming. Grammy's got all kinds of goodies in her sack for you. She's got all kinds of goodies. Grammy gummies. Fancy cigarettes. Ooh, looks like I might make it. Looks like I might make a delivery before the law got to me. Here we go. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make our delivery? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, tight spot here. Grammy doesn't do well in tight spots. Where the sneaky snacker is, but stand here to borrow a vehicle. Oh, an illegal delivery. Oh well, let's. We, well, I guess we're just gonna have to do this. Let's see if we can do a successful road saloon. All right, let's try to make it all the way to Emerald Ranch before we get nailed. All right, here we go. We're going. Now don't we're just trying to I'm just trying to make an honest delivery. I'm just trying to make an honest living because I'm an old lady and I'm on a fixed income. And I don't have much money. 
And so sometimes I have to take these jobs in order to make ends meet, you know what I mean? It's hard making them ends, you know? So sometimes Grammys are forced into doing things. I might take a quick break to go get um, something to eat, but I'll be back on. I'll jump back on and I'll, I'll make sure I'm back on. And take the dogs out and, and get, some, get some nutrition. I was going to take some Tylenol or something. I had a headache. Well, I better eat something. Can I eat on my wagon? Can I eat? Well, I am so glad you've been able to hold down a job, Lady Slashley. I know that has been a hard thing for you in the past. Now, you make sure you call your parole officer and tell her and tell her you can you've been able to, you know, you've been a good girl today, okay? You call your parole officer as soon as you get home. Don't forget. Now, you've been forgetful about that. Make sure you call. A nosy local has spotted you and is running to the law. <laughs> I know it would. Let me see. Can we get there in time before this nosy local has the law descend upon Grammy? Oh, Grammy, Grammy. Don't arrest Grammy. Shine on, shine on, silver moon. Do 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 do. I'm gonna send the shine to you. Oh, do do do. We're almost there. We are making our way to the saloon. Here we go. Let's hope we're gonna make it now. We just gonna make it and are we gonna make another illegal delivery? Here we go. Oh yeah, I gotta get it in there. How the heck am I supposed to get a wagon in there? Uh oh. Looks like somebody's waiting for me. Uh oh. Looks like I'm somebody's waiting for Grammy to show up. Uh oh. Did the sheriff's department pull over, please? Okay, hang on. Easy just... bird, can you stop the wagon for me? In a minute, I'm on my way. <laughs> Easy bird, can you stop the wagon for me? <laughs> okay, yes. I think you can stop the wagon for me. Oh, she's can mad. You? She's mad. Lovely. Can you hop off the wagon for me, please? I don't know if you're speaking, but you'll need to speak up. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. How are you doing, love? I'm good. My name is Grammy. What's your name? My name's Susie. Hi, your Susie. Grammy, How are it? you doing? Carl, who was it earlier that mentioned a Grammy? Uh, See? Yeah, Ashley Bird. Right, okay, no worries. What are you delivering today? Oh, well, I'm not rightly sure. I just met this nice long young fella. Who asked me, he come along and he said, he said, you look like a nice lady. Would you do me a favor and take this on down to the saloon down there in, in the Emerald City? And I said, where the oh, wizard lovely. lives? And mm -hmm. he said, and he, and I said, well, surely, sir, I, I'll be happy to do that again. Oh, it's quite kind of you. So you will have no issue if we just give a peek around, would you? Well, no, of course not. I mean, I just can't imagine what the problem could be. No, thank you, chick. I'll have a quick look. Well, well, okay. Where are you going? You're taking the wagon? No, it's just that's how we have a look inside because somebody seems quite telepathic. Uh, okay. Just a talent of mine. Mm. You know, I will be honest with you. This this uh, this smell a bit. This 
suspicious. This is looking a bit suspicious. Is it really? Oh I, my yeah, lord, a land of Goshen. I just cannot believe it. But, okay, but I'm just such a little old lady just living up there in Strawberry. And every once in a while, I have to come down out of the hills just to try to make a living, you know, because I'm on a fixed income. And I just don't have much money. So I come down, and when this feller said, hey, I'll give you five bucks if you deliver this moonshot, I said, well, sure. Uh, pension not paying well then? No, 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 no. Well, and I ain't got no husband, you know. I mean, I, I kicked him out years ago. It's just oh, me. Oh, me too. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it's me just too. me and my critters. You know, I got my critters, but but they don't oh, work either. Lovely. They're unemployed no. also. Oh, well. Yeah. Grouchers, yeah. really. Yeah. Grouchers. All right. Well, I'm afraid you won't be able to turn this in because it does like a heavily some amount of contraband in it. So I am sorry. I hope okay. that twenty dollars makes up for it. All right. But All we can't right. be doing this again. So avoid All that same follow. Yeah. All right. I will certainly do that. Listen, you you were a very nice lady. Okay, and I'm glad you're just doing your job. Now you just keep up the good work. You too, there, right. officer. You do, and Thank I know you, this honey. little. I know this little officer here. He he's been my friend. We met. All right. See you later. Hi again, okay. Grammy. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you guys. Kissy kisses.